Okay, hey people, how's everyone doing today? So I'm making this video because I've been doing this mistake over the past years and I was not aware of this. And basically I found a solution and I want to share it with you. So on the video, basically I'm gonna explain you the difference when you upload, for example, in 1080p on YouTube and when you upload in 2K resolution and the difference of codecs that will affect your edit at the end when uploaded on YouTube. If you don't know anything about bitrates or Cortex, if you want a deep understanding, check it out the tutorials that are on the description. They are really useful. When it comes to upload on YouTube, I don't know if you know this, but these are the recommended upload encoding settings. So if you go right here on the bitrates, as you can see here, we have different bitrates for different type of resolutions and different types of FPS as well. So when I saw this, I was thinking, all right, so I have a question, right? So imagine that I have this uncompressed file and I upload it on YouTube. 100% that's gonna be compressed by YouTube. But what if I have the specific bitrate and resolution that YouTube is asking me to upload? Is it gonna get compressed? So the answer is yes. And no matter what you're gonna upload on YouTube, everything is gonna be compressed. So the best solution is to actually upload in uncompressed 48 FPS and for example, 4K uh, resolution or even 2K resolution because YouTube will allow you to have more uh, bitrate in this resolution. So if you upload for example the 770 you're only gonna have five megabits but if you upload in 4k youtube allows you to have way more bitrate in a higher resolution i'll show you a few examples so you know what i'm talking about so Basically what I did was I uploaded all of these files into YouTube. They are all the same edit basically. And as you can see is my latest uh, MW3 edit. Uh, but I uploaded in different types of FPS and different types of video formats. So I could compare it and see if this actually is true or not, or if it makes actually a big difference. So if we jump into After Effects, for example, I'm gonna show you the difference of when you export an WMV, when you export that MP4 and AVI, if that makes any difference when it comes to 2K resolution. When it comes to having the file on your PC, basically the only kind of difference that I see was that of course mp4 is way better than a wmv and i was always uh, exporting at wmv like a dumbass and i'm gonna show you i don't know if you guys can see it because youtube is gonna compress this video uh, either way i'm gonna link as well all the screenshots on the folder so you can download and see the difference yourself if i go here and disable the wmv edit you're gonna you're gonna see there's a there's a huge difference so if you zoom even more and now i disable wmv can you see the difference like this is so pixelated. This is the MP4 and this now is the uncompressed. The uncompressed to the MP4, you barely see uh, any difference on your PC. But then when you upload it on YouTube, I'm gonna show you the big difference that makes. In, I'm gonna zoom a lot here so you can see the difference. So this is screenshots that I took from YouTube, from the videos that I uploaded. So you have the WMV, MKV, uh, MP4, uncompressed, laggerit, and just uncompressed. And I have the difference of 24 FPS and uh, 48 FPS. So if I go over here and just solo WMV, th this is how it looks like. But now if I solo the MKV, you already can see a little bit of a difference here on bitrates. Actually, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see a little bit better. Now, if I we just do MP4, so see the difference between WMV and MP4? Look, this is WMV and this is MP4. For example, let's check it out here on the side. This is the WMV and this is the lag with 24 FPS. You can see that we can see the, the a little bit of details in here but then on the WMV, we completely lose detail on that. The most interesting part is actually when you upload in 2K resolution, 48 FPS, okay? So I'm gonna show you the difference of uncompressed uh, 24 FPS, so which is this one, uncompressed, 2K resolution, 24 FPS, with the uncompressed 48 FPS. So if we enable only that, you can see the details of the lifts, for example, you know? Check it out the, the gun of the guy here. If we now enable just the 24 FPS, we lose so much. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if I zoom it even more, look, this is the 24 FPS and this is the 48 FPS. There's such a big difference in here. Look at, look at over here. When you upload it on 24 FPS compared to the 48, you have way more details. And I was, I was not aware of this. Look at over here. If I disable the 24 FPS, 
like the amount of details that you get from it like especially little details like leaves and stuff like you completely lose that when it comes to 24 fps and with 48 fps you will get all the these these details so it's much better if you upload it in 48 fps than on 24 or 30 or whatever basically 48 fps is the best to upload your own edits so now you ask me oh but my edit is 24 fps and i like it how it looks in 24 fps how can i get the 48 fps at the end so i can add uh, more quality so just export your edit whatever fps you want make sure that you export it uncompressed and then you just have to choose one software to change the FPS. The reason for that is because you can upload the uncompressed for you on YouTube or in case that you have the client's YouTube account, you can upload it on his YouTube channel as well. If not, you need to export it in MP4 or, you know, in the future, that if you want to have the edit for you to storage somewhere on your hard drive, you don't want to save a huge file, right? You want the smallest size possible. So that's why you export it and choose whatever codec you want at the end. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Imagine that you already exported the edit, right? 24 FPS in my case. I open the DAW MIDI encoder. There we go. And now I add the file that I just exported into MIDI encoder. So in case that I want to upload it on my YouTube channel, I go over here, I choose AVI, I click over here, and now it's the part where I choose Lagrid because the difference of uncompressed and Lagrid, you can't see any difference. You can check out the screenshots on, on the description so you, you can compare it yourself. So uh, Lagrid, and then you choose the size. Of course, in my case, I decided to uh, do it uh, 2K resolution. I go over here, I choose uh, 50 FPS because they don't have 48 so we just go for the 50 uh, and then over here square pixels render and maximum depth and yeah use maximum render quality and you go over here and you, you export the output well, to the place that you want. This is just the uncompressed one. And then of course you can choose the MP4, which is this one, H264. You click here again. And then over here, we're gonna uncheck the FPS. We're gonna put it 50 FPS, render at maximum depth. And then over here, the profile, instead of putting main, let's put it high. And then over here, VBR two paths, and then put it to thousand, and then use maximum render quality, and then you just export it uh, to the output that you want. Render done. You have different types of softwares that you can use besides just Adobe Media Encoder. Basically, you can use the software itself. For example, After Effects or Sony Vegas. You can use Handbrake or even Virtual Dub. Uh, Handbrake is good because it has the MKV. So in case that you want to use the MKV, go for it and use Handbrake. And yeah, this is how it should be done. And how I'm gonna start doing it in my own edits, including this tutorial. So in conclusion, all is upscale your footage to 2K or 4K resolution. Even if you record at 720, make sure you add sharpness when you upscale it, then export it uncompressed, lagarith. Make sure that the FPS are 48 FPS or 50, depending on the software you're using. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I, I know it's really technical and it's not as fun as the other ones, but I think it's still really important to know. I want to say as well, thank you for everyone who's supporting me on Twitch. Otherwise, I will not be able to keep doing these tutorials and keep a T2C active and as well uh, if you have any questions you can always hit me up on stream or you can join T2C discord we have a lot of people there there are editors as well and you know people struggle and if you have any questions you can just put it in the chat and people will eventually respond to you I hope you guys have a great day and I see you on the next one